The cooking's gonna be really hard if you keep sitting on the table. back to my kitchen where my cats and dogs stand on the table. So we actually have all four of our children present today. Um, the cats are really just being nosy, but Oliver and Lola are going to be here and we're going to be making them a three course doggy Christmas dinner as a little unique gift for them this Christmas season. Lola is over here too. You might not actually see her. You can see Oliver very clearly, but Lady Lola is just off to his side in a little dog bed where they're both supposed to be sitting, but he's a little over. Oh, hello. To wait. So I've, uh, as per usual, I have done some Pinterest research and I went ahead and drew up some, some recipes. Now these are all coming from patchpuppy.com from what I have gathered. And uh, I, I've never really made dog food. I have made a couple of treats for them before, but I've never really uh, made made dog food. And I'm uh, I'm interested to try. Uh, what I want to try first is their their appetizer. And for their appetizer, we're gonna make some doggy meatballs. So what we need is some ground turkey, some cooked brown rice, cooked broccoli and some oregano and then it looks like a little bit of butter to fry the meatballs in. Are you excited for meatballs? Yeah. Okay, so first thing I need to cook some brown rice and broccoli, I think. Okay, so for our brown rice and broccoli, I wanna make sure those get cooked, but I wanna to try to be as efficient as possible because they are some hungry babies. And so we're gonna be using this pot to make the rice and then hopefully as it steams, I'm gonna have it this this guy with holes in the bottom <laughs> to hopefully steam the broccoli in the meantime. We're gonna give that a shot. Um, this is actually a part of a, a cooking set that Ian just got me for Christmas. So we're just going to pop the broccoli into the pan with holes, stick that over the rice and start cooking. Hopefully once the rice is tender, the broccoli will also have been reasonably steamed. Okay, we're gonna let that cook because rice can take a little bit of time to finish up. So while we're doing that, I'm gonna start on one of their other recipes that needs some time to set, and that's gonna be their dessert. So this recipe is like a peanut butter ice cream treat. If you hear any rustling, don't worry, that's just my cat touching things he's not supposed to touch. So for this recipe, it looks like it's just four ingredients. We need a banana, we need peanut butter, honey, and yogurt. Okay, I think that's all of it. It looks like we just need to put all of our ingredients into blender or food processor and let it go. Okay, I can do that. I don't think this will work super, super great with my immersion blender, so we'll use the food processor. Found it. Okay, so I think the way this thing works is, uh, okay, so I think I just need to pop that on lock stick our little blade in there cool okay let's start with the banana we'll go and break that up into little bits do you like banana i don't actually know if he likes banana i know he really likes watermelon and he likes apples but i haven't tried a lot of banana with him yet okay let's see three tablespoons of peanut butter are you the most excited, Oliver? This is for you. A little bit more than that. Ooh, not quite that much. Okay, and then 32 ounces of yogurt. It looks like it's about this whole container. Okay, so we're just gonna add our yogurt into the container. I think this is gonna be where most of the creaminess comes from because everything else is real chunky. This is for you. 
chocolate. It's not ready yet, so you can't eat it yet. You have to wait. <laughs> Is that yummy? <laughs> Is that good, honey? Okay, so then we'll just spin that. I'm actually, ugh, I don't know if I want to food process this right next to him because I think he'll find, I think he'll be scared. So we're going to do this over here. Okay, once we are all blended together, it says to put it into little uh, silicone molds or into ice trays. I don't have either of those. So we are going to try to make little popsicles. So these actually might take longer than the recommended two hours to set, but depending on your molds, you might be just fine. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what? I should use a food funnel. Okay, so I fetched my silicone funnel. We're going to try this instead. This is not, I mean, it is for you, but like, stop. You're not, it's not ready. It's not ready. Oh, this is making such a mess. Good thing I've got these dogs that are just so excited to help me clean up. Oh, Oliver, it's not done yet. Okay, so maybe if we put their caps on and then we can maybe pour the excess back into the batter. I mean, it doesn't smell bad, that's cool. I'll just like pour, maybe, the excess. But I don't want it to pour out of the popsicles. Okay, well, here's our popsicles. They look absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna pop these in the freezer. And yeah. Okay, we do have some larger popsicle molds. Let's try these on. Let's see if I maybe am better at pouring these, but I mean, my hopes are not high here. It does help I can see into the hole a little bit better. So I know when to stop pouring. Perfect, there we go. That's so good. See, Neko, you're in the way. Okay, see, that's way better. It's cleaner. I mean, it's still, there's some drips here and there, but I would, I would call that a win. We might not have succeeded with the first round, but I will say that we did good on this one. Apparently, the dogs are taking it upon themselves to clean up my mess. They are sweet children. What would I do without them? All right, those are in the freezer. They do have to set, it says at least two hours, um, but I'm gonna say that mine are probably gonna need to set for longer just because they are probably a bit bigger than your average silicone mold. Uh, I'm gonna have to clean this table because there's been some dog tongues all over it. <laughs> Uh, and then we can move on to the next recipe. I also noticed I forgot to put honey in, but that's okay because the recipe said it was optional. So now I've got the brown rice cooked and the broccoli cooked. I went ahead and chopped up the broccoli so we can go ahead and add it in to the rice. Um, and then we've got our finely chopped oregano. Look at that. You wanna try some broccoli? Okay, Oliver likes broccoli, apparently. Let's try Lady Lola. She ate it. All right, and then we've got to have a pound of ground turkey. Easy enough. Ugh. We want to mix all that together, which I think is, at this point, mostly just making sure that the turkey is... You can't have it yet. It's not cooked. It's the appetizer. It's the first thing you'll get to try. I promise. I'm mostly trying to like chop up the turkey and then like fold it in. Honestly, I don't know why I'm kidding myself. I'm about to have to stick my hands in this to form them into little balls anyway. All right. This is why we wash our hands when we cook anyway. Okay. I mean, they don't smell bad. Like none of these ingredients are things that I would not myself eat. I've never been a big fan of making meatballs or loaves just because of the you have to put your hands in it thing. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and make our balls. It says it can make 10 to 20 depending on the size of your dog. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start forming these. And while I form them, I'm going to guard them from the dogs that really want to take them. 
Okay, perhaps this needs to be where we break for a surprise. We've broken out the meat products, the dogs are going wild. So I'm going, so I'm gonna set them aside and we will let them try the foods when they are done. Okay, so I was able to make 16 of these meatballs and I'm gonna go ahead and fry them up and then they'll be ready to have their appetizer. Go sit. Okay, are you guys ready for your appetizer? Oliver's ready. Lola, go sit. Oh, well, I guess we're both on the table then. I think they like it. With these, I had a little bit of a hard time getting them to keep their shape while I was frying them. My whole first batch kind of fell apart, but the second batch went really well. Uh, they all seemed to hold together. I just had to be really, really gentle with them. Uh, Lola has already finished her, so I would say that she's going to give those a solid 10 out of 10. Hey, no, don't take your brothers. Oliver is kind of nudging him around a little bit, but he, he is very excited. I would say that's a good appetizer. Do you guys like it? Yeah, we have some leftovers for later. It's kind of all crumbly, but I'm sure it still tastes good. All right, well, I would say that that appetizer was a success, if not a little bit hard to manage while cooking. Uh, they did really enjoy it. They all, they all ate that right up, but we need to move on to their main course. Um, so with this one, I've actually already started cooking the rice. This does call for, it looks like two cups of rice, a cup of shredded chicken, a quarter cup of pure canned pumpkin, so you don't want the pumpkin pie filling, and then we need two tablespoons of more plain yogurt, um, which I did save from our from our earlier container. I kind of stole it out of the 32 ounces. I think I like this recipe because it seems to just be adding the ingredients together, and that's it. So our recipe does call for a cup of shredded cooked chicken, two cups of cooked white rice, a quarter cup of 100% canned pumpkin, and then two tablespoons of non-fat yogurt. And then we're just gonna mix this up and serve it over a bed of lovely spinach because spinach is good for dogs. And it's just cute. I honestly don't think they'll eat it, but it's worth a shot to get my dogs to eat a vegetable. Now I think it actually said this recipe is good for dogs that have a tummy ache. Now my dogs don't currently have a tummy ache, but I can't imagine that food that's good for them when they have a tummy ache isn't good for them when they don't. I mean, I have chicken noodle soup when I'm not sick, just as much as I have it when I am. Okay, so now that that's all mixed up, I'm going to serve it in their bowls over this lovely bed of lettuce and see what they think. We're trying something slightly different. We're going to introduce the food after we introduce the dogs to the table. So, we need to first move Neko, because this is not about him today. And hopefully we can get them to see it at the table like young ladies and gentlemen. Stay, stay. All right, here is your main course for your dinner. There you go. Okay, look at that. They look so cute in their little Christmas sweaters. Oliver, eat your food. Don't steal your sisters. Is it yummy? Is it a yummy dinner? Sweet girl. Oh, okay, he's, he's done sitting in the chair. Do you wanna to try to stand up on the table now? That's probably easier, huh? Is it yummy, girl? She's not about the spinach. She's really eating around the spinach. And I, yeah, Oliver's only eating around the spinach as well. But I, I wouldn't say they're as excited about these as they were about the meatballs. But they, this is the solid, like, I mean, they're eating this as enthusiastically as they eat their regular dinner. So I'm going to call that a, that a solid, a solid recipe. It's pretty, pretty simple to make, I think. Mostly just mixing and and boiling. As always, I will post the recipes down in the description box below so that you guys can try to make them too if you want. Okay, so I think they've set for long enough. I just pulled one out and it seems to be holding pretty well. So I'm gonna say that their dessert pops are 
potentially. <laughs> okay, one of them came out. This one came out. Let me try the other one. Okay, this is loosening. Ooh, he did it. Yes. Okay, cool. If I can get the rest of them out. Yeah. Oh, Neko, don't hit. Oh, that one didn't. That one's not quite set. Okay, no, no, that one's not either. Okay, so we're going to put the rest of these back in the fridge, but we've got a few that are ready, I think. Okay, who's ready for popsicles? No, you got one. <gasps> Oliver likes it. Lola. Okay, I'm going to get him a plate so I can try to help Lola. Here you go, honey. You have a popsicle? Okay, okay, Lola kind of likes it. Lola. Oliver, yours is over here. She's not super excited. I think, I don't know if it's because it's cold or not. Because she really liked it when it was melted. Wanna try it? Maybe it's because I'm holding it. Let me get her a plate. Oh, it's a maybe. You have it. It's okay. Oliver's going ham. Going, going popsicle. Okay, Lola's not, not feeling it right now. She, what I did just, she was napping when I went and got her. She might still just be sleepy. That's okay. We can save yours for later if you want. That's okay, honey. You go lay down. Both Oliver and Lola are super, super food motivated, so I'm not really surprised that they had a good time eating all the little snacks and treats and entrees and different things, new things. Uh, I'm not really surprised that they tried to jump on the table and eat the ingredients, but uh, that, that's that's just them. That's They're spoiled. What can I say? If you want to see more of me, Kaylee, our furry friends, a little bit of shenanigans, cooking, crafting, or whatever, definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, leave a comment down below letting us know what you want to see us do. If you want to see us try any interesting DIY tricks for these furry creatures that we spend so much time with, especially nowadays when we never really leave the house. So uh, have a wonderful evening. Bye. <laughs>